Usually the videos in this series are only related in that they are all about rhetoric. However, the next video I will do is going to be very much a continuation of this one. You hear over and over again this quote, or something very much like it. It's not a revenue problem, it's a spending problem. As you may have already worked out, I will mainly be addressing the first part of this, but before I do, let's examine this bit of rhetoric. It has become the favorite talking point of Republicans, Fox News, teabaggers, Rand worshippers, and conservatives in general. The first thing to note is that this uses the propaganda technique called ad nauseum. This is a simple slogan that is repeated over and over again until it is accepted as truth. It's a truth by repetition logical fallacy. It is also the culmination of trickle-down or supply-side economics, which itself uses a technique called the big lie. That is when you keep repeating some chain of events to justify the subsequent action you are taking. In this case, it is that lowering taxes on the wealthy increases revenue, stimulates the economy, creates jobs, and trickles the prosperity down onto the masses. That is the repeated lie, accepted as truth, used to justify shifting more and more of the tax burden away from the wealthy and onto the poor and middle class. So the bit of rhetoric being discussed here is a slogan for action justified by the pre-made big lie. You must control the media, getting them to repeat your talking points over and over again. This is called managing the news, which borrows from another technique known as classical conditioning. This has been proven to be an extremely effective way to control people. This is, of course, the purpose of Fox News. You don't have to take my word for it, though. Watch the channel for yourself and see how often they stay on message, repeating a few points over and over again. They drive it home with one-sided interviews and various other deceptive strategies. I will now read you two quotes from Adolf Hitler, which are very apropos, especially considering the nationalist nature of the modern conservative movement. All propaganda must be popular, and its intellectual level must be adjusted to the most limited intelligence among those it is addressed to. Consequently, the greater the mass it is intended to reach, the lower its purely intellectual level will have to be. Mein Kampf, page 180. But the most brilliant propaganda technique will yield no success unless one fundamental principle is borne in mind, constantly and with unflagging attention. It must confine itself to a few points and repeat them over and over again. Mein Kampf, page 184. Now don't get me wrong here, this isn't a Hitler comparison meant to show some sort of inherent evil, whatever that means. No, this is just a statement of expertise from a propagandist so skilled that he took over a country and drove people to do the most terrible things. So I just want to show that these are known to be the most effective techniques and they are being used artfully by the far right to circumvent the American democratic process. It's all right out in the open for anyone to see. Like I said, watch Fox and see for yourself, or check out Liberal Viewers Fox Bias playlist. They say it's not a revenue problem, but revenue and taxes are the lowest they've been in several decades. The argument for the Bush tax cuts was because we had a surplus, so they reasoned the government took too much and should give it back. The 90s economy was great. Look at it now, more than a decade after the Bush tax cuts. Where are the jobs those cuts were supposed to bring? It looks like all it did was lead to speculative investment, which helped create the housing bubble. There is also this logical flaw at the mathematical level. If you add a positive and a negative integer to any other integer, it is foolish to say the size of the negative number is all that matters and that the positive number is irrelevant. That is the only objective thing here. All you can say is that subtracting more than you add makes a number smaller. 
the rest of it is quite subjective. However, history shows taxes and revenue have continued to go down. Therefore, we can say that there is less revenue, and that is a problem. The economy ultimately relies on the end consumer. Our lack of exports means that it is primarily the American people. So, closing loopholes and gradually shifting the taxes back the way they had been before all this supply-side bullshit began is the answer to the revenue problem. It's very simple. If something is ticking along just fine, and then you do something that completely fucks it up, you might want to stop doing that. In fact, you should probably put it back the way it was. Revenue is going to be a big part of this, but there is stuff to be done on the spending side, too. I will be addressing that in the next video.